There's a free-to-play game that was initially released on the PlayStation 4 that's getting cross-platform play on other consoles. We're going to be talking about that, but first, I actually wanted to talk about this Avengers game that is uh, supposed to be revealed the week of E3. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Monkey Flop here, and today I get your PS4 Flash news. We're going to be talking about PlayStation 4 and beyond, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. The first thing that I actually wanted to address was Square Enix. Now, if you guys weren't paying attention to their Twitter feed, they actually announced that they're going to be live streaming their new game announcement right before E3 actually kicks off. And that is going to be at uh, 6 p.m. June 10th. Uh, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I know I'm going to be, and I'll give you guys the latest and greatest of whatever the announcement can be. But uh, according to Push Square, they actually pointed this out. So big shout out to them. They pointed out that the images that they tweeted out in the tweets were kind of in correlation and uh, looked a lot like the, the Infinity Stones from uh, you know, the Avengers, and wow, I definitely do agree with them, and could Square Enix be revealing an Avengers game during E3 week? We'll have to wait and see, but I'll definitely keep you guys informed. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, there is a game that was first released on the PlayStation 4, and that is now available on the Nintendo Switch and Xbox One, and that is Brawlhalla. Brawlhalla is getting support for cross-platform play, and it's going to be available to play uh, with your friends that have the Nintendo Switch and Xbox One. Now, if you would ask me a couple of months ago why Sony has not allowed cross-platform play, especially with a game like Brawlhalla that is already available on the Nintendo Switch and Xbox One, it's a third-party game. It's not like it's Sony's exclusive. Why are they restricting it? And my answer before is a lot different than what it is today. Now, with the merge and partnership with Microsoft, a lot of people aren't talking about this, but I do believe that there's a lot of issues that Sony does not want people to know about in regards to a, a PlayStation Network infrastructure. I do believe that there's something up with the PlayStation Network infrastructure that is not allowing cross-platform play to play properly. Now, sure, we do see some games like Fortnite and Rock Hockey League that have been around for a very long time. They have cross-platform play, so technically you can play Fortnite uh, with PC and other uh, platforms as well, but uh, with newer games, and you know, Brawlhalla has also been around for a while, but I do believe that with this case, with Brawlhalla and some other games as well, it is actually because of the PlayStation Network. There's something in the infrastructure that is not allowing proper cross-platform play. And with Microsoft and Sony's merge, I do believe that with the PlayStation 5, we're going to be seeing a big change when it comes to a lot of these discussions. And it's also going to benefit Sony with Microsoft's assistance. Now, they did talk about Sony's merge with Microsoft uh, being in regards to cloud services and streaming games. But uh, I do believe that Microsoft is also in there helping them with the PlayStation Network. Let's face it, as PlayStation gamers, there's a lot of issues with the PlayStation Network, even to this day. How many times does the PlayStation Network go down? How many times do we have issues being able to access the games that are on the PlayStation Network? I can go on and on listing all of the issues that are wrong with the PlayStation Network in itself, not just the PlayStation store, but the PlayStation Network in, in itself. So I do believe that the reason why we're not getting cross-platform play with a lot of the games that game developers want to bring cross-platform play to the PlayStation Nation, I believe it is and lies within the PlayStation Network. What are your guys' thoughts on that? I'm really curious. All right, so our next news story is very interesting because DC Universe Online has been available on the PlayStation 4 for quite some time. And it kind of correlates with what we just talked about with cross-platform play with the Nintendo Switch and Xbox One. If you guys aren't familiar with what I'm actually talking about, DC Universe Online is coming to the Nintendo Switch. That's right, you guys heard me correctly. Now, I honestly thought that 
This was not going to be possible because DC Universe Online is a big massive game and I'm really curious to see how the Nintendo Switch actually handles the game in itself because the game is pretty massive. So I'm going to be keeping my eye on this one. There is no official release date as of yet when the Nintendo Switch is going to be getting DC Universe Online, but as soon as it's available, I'll definitely let you guys know. And I'm a DC fan, so of course I'm going to be, uh, you know, paying attention to this. Do you guys play DC Universe Online? What has your experience been with the game? PlayStation VR's future looks bright. Now, I know this is not a popular topic, and I know it's one that, you know, a lot of people might overlook or even not pay attention to at all. Let's face it, the PlayStation VR's, uh, you know announcement was promising the future of vr was very exciting but it didn't catch on even though there's over 3 million units sold and counting for the playstation vr uh whenever i talk about the playstation vr people are like ah, who cares about the playstation vr it's all about the video games itself uh, but there's new news coming out from a, a lot of news sources that are reporting the playstation vr is actually going to be getting new headset designs next year now while i do love the design of the playstation vr headset it fits very comfortably and you know you can adjust it however you want and this feature where you can actually slide this part back and forth fits to your face really well I have friends that use this and wear glasses and it fits comfortably now why would they actually design and develop new PlayStation VR headsets if there's already over 3 million units in the in the community and they're still selling well, the reason I believe is because the PlayStation VR headset, while it's designed good and it fits comfortably, it is not the resolution that a lot of gamers anticipated or even expected. Some of the competitors of VR have better headsets when it comes to actual visuals. Sure, this fits comfortably, but let's be honest, the visuals are okay. They're not up to par or even to industry standards. With that being said, PlayStation VR is going to be getting new PlayStation VR headsets next year, and there's a lot of speculation that the PlayStation VR is really going to take off with the PlayStation 5's power. You know, PlayStation 4 can only do so much, and that's why we have that little add-on box with the PlayStation VR, is because uh, the PlayStation 4 can't handle everything that the PlayStation VR has to offer. So with the PlayStation 5, it looks like they're going to be developing it in a way where it is more compatible with the PlayStation VR headset. And there's rumor and speculation that we could be getting a Bluetooth wireless headset for the PlayStation VR. Sure, like I said, the most comfortable thing about it is how it fits and how it feels. And it does fit and feel amazing. But one of the most annoying things right here is this bad boy. I mean, <laughs> you don't know how many times I almost thought I dropped my PlayStation 4 uh, because it was connected to this long wire. So I'd love to know your guys' thoughts and opinions about that in the comment section below. Do you guys think that the PlayStation VR is going to, uh, you know, have a, a bright future? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to support your boy. Drop a comment. Drop a like. If you guys are new, please subscribe with those bell notifications turned on. And until next time, you guys are freaking awesome.